It's on the air. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Atlanta Falcons. This one teed up, and we are underway from Atlanta. Kevante Turpin now from his end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Play one, and Prescott to the air. He finds his man complete. It's Lamb. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Prescott on first down. Got his man there complete to Gallup. Ooh, the juke. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Lamb. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it's second down. Looking to throw. Prescott. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And oh, it's incomplete. Oh, even six points, but somehow he couldn't lay it in. Closing speed there defensively because that was dope for a minute. That's a great hit with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. They are such a talented team of defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. So they'll pass on what would have been a 49-yard field goal attempt. And they're going for it on fourth down. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. A big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. From the red zone now, Prescott. That's into the hands of Tober. Touchdown, Cowboys! Jalen Tober, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And it's now a 7-0 game. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And Patterson not going to return this. It'll come out to the 25. Falcons first and 10 here as Ritter gets them ready at their 25-yard line. Now a first carry here for Robinson. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. The Ritter back to throw. And his throw is incomplete. The goal of anyone running a curl route is to make sure you try and get defenders on your back and shield them away from the football. But sometimes even when you run a good route, the defense finds a way to knock it away. Back to the air on second down. Here's Ritter again. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. That one deep for London. I right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. 
So they tried to take the deep shot there, but this defense up to the task. And a lot of times when you air a ball out like this, if it does get intercepted, there's going to be a lot of space out there to set up a return. And remember, you've got five big offensive linemen out there playing on their feet in open space. Not a skill most of them possess that allows for extra yardage on the return. Now Prescott. And this is incomplete. The turnover put them in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming. Not, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football. Gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now Prescott. Now we're behind his man, incomplete. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. He wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Here's a second and five. Going to run again here with Palmer. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Throwing. Prescott. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Jake Ferguson laying himself out in the end zone. And the Cowboys are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. Aubrey good with a PAT. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. No return here for Patterson, so they'll begin things at the 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown, so decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan, or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football as they've got it with a second down and two coming up. Off the play fake, it's Ritter. And complete to Drake London. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. First catch here for London and also a first down. play action here's Ritter oh everything falling apart now another one intercepted picked up by Malik Hooker and the Cowboys are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42 yard line so rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -to -back interceptions in the NFL regardless of status or experience whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan I think this defense is reading something out there and they're holding the upper hand and they're throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Prescott to throw it. Out of his hands quickly to CeeDee Lamb. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. He'll take it up the gun. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. 
That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitz... Are... And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Well, the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And that makes the score 21 to zip. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And a good job here by the Falcons. Their hands team able to recover it. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before go. this here game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. Defensively, it was Leighton Vander Esch up from his linebacker spot. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Out of the gun, here's Ritter. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Damone Clark. And the Cowboys will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 43. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And his throw here is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Now is second and ten. Here's Prescott. Open man right side, it's Lamb. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Prescott looks to throw on first. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 18 yards there, down to the 18, and a first down. Prescott on play action. Rush coming, and he's taken down. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Play fake. Here's Prescott. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott, a 23-yard run. And the Cowboys are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Aubrey good with a PAT. And the route is on here in this first half. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here, but with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drive. And I'm going to go ahead and date myself one more time because I'm going to quote an old Smokey and the Bandit lyric. They've got a long way to go. And it's short. There he goes, left side. And he will finally be shoved out of bounds down at the 30-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 45 yards. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. 
Ritter. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Damone Clark. And the Cowboys are going to have it here just past the 25. Following the interception, here's Prescott. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's second and ten. Now Prescott going to change the play. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. He'll fire this deep for Gallup. Oh, wide open, complete. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dak Prescott now four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Cowboys will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. The kick is good. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And the route is on here in this first half. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And a good job here by the Falcons. Their hands team able to recover it. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Ritter will set up to throw it. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath, but those guys on the defensive side of the ball, they've got big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks like the people just leave the candy out at Halloween and you take what you want. They're having a blast out there playing against him today. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. It'll be Falcons football, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. And Patterson not going to return this. It'll come out to the 25. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they have a mountainous deficit looming in front of them. It was really, Charles, a disaster of a first half. So where do they go from here? Well, first thing they have to remember is that what's done is done and there's no going back. And now you have to play this drive by drive. Obviously, come back in this spot. Pretty unlikely. But you still have to go out, take pride in your work, and try and put something together here in the second half. Now a dump off here complete. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, a lot of ground left to make up, obviously. A lopsided contest, and we're already in the third quarter. And they won't get it all back in one play or one drive. That's cliche, but it's true, Charles. If they can just maybe get plays like that and get a little momentum built, they can get the scoreboard a little closer. And can you add some blinders to the cliche, meaning keep these guys from looking at the scoreboard because that doesn't help them at all right now. Their focus needs to be on finishing every drive with points and playing mistake-free football from here on out. On second down, another shot for Robinson. Down the left sideline. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. B. John Robinson, 59 yards. And the Falcons are able to at least get one score back. 
Well, I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Koo able to connect on the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Ten and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Ritter to throw it. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss. Touchdown, Falcons! Kyle Pitts, 27 yards. And the Falcons take the first turnover on defense and convert it into six points. Now Arthur Smith going to tell the offense to stay put. We're going for two. Ritter going to change it up. They'll let Robinson try and run. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. I guess the last score wasn't enough for them. They want more. Here comes an onside kick. Fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. And he takes it all away, but there is laundry on the field. A flag is down, and I think this one's coming back. I agree. Aubrey now for the PAT. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. Patterson going to bring this out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. 
And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Ritter looking to throw on first and ten. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Call it a gain of three on the play. And it'll be second down. Ritter now. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. At this point in the game and the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. Another throw coming up here for Ritter. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys will take over here just shy of the 30. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know, they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal is not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Atlanta, Georgia is the spot and glad to have you along for the ride. Third quarter action, second and ten. He's letting it fly for Cooks. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. And in an afternoon where just about everything's gone right, there's an unlikely sight there. He's got a receiver all alone downfield, and he just overshoots him. And again, it's Prescott. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Dak and the offense still out there. They are going to go for it. Prescott to throw on fourth. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move to go for it, and predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And the Falcons will take control of the football in great field position. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get the field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. Second down throw coming for Ritter. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. Sticking with a passing game. Here's Ritter again. His throw incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one hand. That is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Ritter now on second down. Crossing route incomplete. He's got Pitts. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Hunt, hunt. 
Robinson will try to pick it up. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Robinson. And he is going to lose yardage here. Uh, he lost six there on the first down play. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Robinson with another carry. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. A field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. An incompletion there on fourth and goal from the three. And this Cowboy defense comes up with a goal line stand. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs the most recent example. And now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Hey, if you're on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Prescott yet again. And he'll go right back to Lamb. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Now second and three. Here's Prescott. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and the Falcons grab it. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but the QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't it? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Falcons. Bijan Robinson with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Falcons get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone. I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Ritter will throw for it. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good.
Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Throwing here, Prescott. Open man downfield, his layup, it's complete. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Looking to throw, Prescott. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Prescott to throw it. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Richie Grant, and the Falcons are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. And I think this will run away very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things through this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. He's going to let it fly. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, these guys are not going to go out with their tails between their legs. They're going to keep taking their shots until the clock's at triple zeros. But that one, like a lot of others, winds up incomplete. Okay, ready? The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And now here's another interception. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. So the Cowboys now bringing the offense out there to go for two. Prescott, they're going to throw for it. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get it. Yeah, the touchdown apparently wasn't enough. They're going to go for the onside kick here. And a good job here by the Falcons. Their hands team able to recover it. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Looking to throw it here. Ritter. He'll let this go for the end zone. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. 
Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film, but this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Extra point by Kerr, up and good. And now will cut the lead down now to 22. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Just all around a solid performance, and now they've got the three-score lead here, Charles, so the final seconds of the fourth quarter. Yeah, and this one, they... and Prescott, his third interception. Picked by Jeff Akuda, and the Falcons are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. Ritter on first and ten. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. What we just saw there, that's really been a common theme all afternoon. A lot of pressure. That forced the errant pass. He's been under duress this entire afternoon. He just had to unload that when he's fortunate. It was just incomplete and not intercepted. On the double. So following the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 25. Ritter headed right off the option. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Focus, boys. Focus. Ready? Break. Hustle, hustle. Ready? A final shot now for Ritter. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Y'all see how much the game was screwing me over? He was throwing all his deep passes. And he was actually catching them. I finally throw deep pass to Lamb? Nah. Whatever. I mean, I won almost 50 points, so I'm not really mad, but it's just going to be weak. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your off season. But on game day, 